Okay, everyone, we're back to the cantina. The song to Azure. He's talking about how great it is that you and that us and Bendak, let's get it on. Uh, that they're, uh, it's gonna be great to <clears throat> see a death match. Ladies and gentlemen, come with me now on a journey to the savage days of years gone by to a time when two combatants entered the arena and only one came out alive. They're illegal. They're bad. They've been outlawed for nearly 20 years. But we've got one for you tonight. A good old-fashioned death match. Endless corner. A living legend. A man whose very name would make his opponent shake in their boots. If any of them were still alive. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Poor guy. That's right, us, we're crazy enough. Who would be mad enough to face almost certain death merely for your enjoyment? Ladies and gentlemen, feast your wondering eyes on the, the mysterious stranger. stranger. And now, look at that, it's all important that it's all in caps right there. Dark side piss off dark side points game. Now we gotta run away. Grenade See now you just fire a couple grenades at him and then boom. Just take him out. It's that simple. Take that. Down. It's over. It's over. The fight is over. Then that star killer is we down. We beat then that star killer. Then that star killer is dead. All hail the mysterious oh, stranger. All hail the mysterious stranger. The rings of Taurus. That's right. I am awesome. I'm awesome. All right, let's talk to uh, Mr. Azure. Yeah, Benek's dead. Yeah, I know. Where's my share of the purse? Ooh. Thanks, Azure. Now no one's gonna want to put face uh, uh, me ever. Why? Because I am the best. You know, I don't want to talk to these guys. They're not cool. Um, what else is there? I'm going to cut to the Undercity. See you later. Okay, I'm back in the Undercity. I'm in the Undercity now. Let's talk to Ruko. Welcome back, Upworlder. How goes your quest? Have you found the journals of my father and grandfather? Uh, I have all three journals. Here, take them. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last... The dream of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled. Oh. I can hardly bear to look. Hmm. Yes, yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. It is so obvious. Jeez. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gandar right away. You do that. Fruit kill, what do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gandar. Uh -huh. Look at these journals. What? No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? Yes, it is. I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gandar. The promised land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many rapkul infested areas. I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. But surely it is better than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. 
Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I yes. fear you cannot come. We can't go. The journey to the promised land is long and arduous. No, Upworlder. I cannot oh. ask that. The journey will take many, many weeks. And those who make the journey cannot return. That was the final secret of the promised land. When the colony was created, mm. it was designed so that people could enter willingly, but they could never leave again. This was to ensure secrecy on the project. We must part ways here, Upworlder. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen. Mm. But the destiny of my people is at the end of a long journey ahead of us. side points. All right, well, this is now an abandoned area, and I'm pretty sure Igear is pissed right off at us because of that. Oh yeah, if you want to hand the journals in, and there's still stuff at the uh, Igears, you talk to Igear first, but don't tell him that you have the journals. Now, I'm going to go to Javier's Cantina, and then I'm going to end off the episode. And I'll, I'll show off uh, first speed, since it's not too far away. <laughs> Look at that, we're going lightning fast. What? Oh. Next door. There we go. Let's go in. Alright, you guys, this has been Mr. Foggy Nights. I will see you all later.